welcome back. We are on Development Dynamics. If you're joining us now, we have been on for a number of hours now. This is uh, DD with Maxi featuring Alcags, and we are taking it back from the end of uh, KCDF. But before we do, at this point, are you Alcags? Oh. <laughs> so we've put we've put a bookmark at the end of KCDF. I'm yeah. just wondering at this point are you Alcags? And then at this point, are you married? Do you have children? Those are the two things that are just uh that are there. Uh, you are around 28, 29 here. Are you Alcags or are you still who we used to know you as yeah. when you're growing up? So so hmm. For short answer to your second question is no, I wasn't married at the time. All I'm right. still very single. Okay. Um, but uh, the story of how I changed my name uh -huh. was like this. Yeah. It was back in 2000, possibly 2004-ish, thereabouts. All right. So in your in mid-20s. That kakeos, you know that, that kakeos I was yeah. describing? When you were doing many things. I was doing very many things. Yes. At one point, and, and I'd just been exposed to ICT. So I'm just starting. Mm. This is just before I started Multiple Traces, actually. Mm -hmm. So me and a friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, who is the grandson of one of the wealthiest people in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Shall uh, remain nameless. Who, for purposes of this story, must remain nameless. Okay. Because otherwise we expose the grandfather. Yes. Um, oh, and it's not nameless NMZ Wahoo. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not you, sir. Not, not nameless, no. Not that nameless. Yes. So, so, so this is what happens. My friend and I have worked on an ICT business. We've seen, we used to have long conversations about the future, about what it was going to look like and so on and so forth. And so we decide that we are going to start this Biashara. Mm -hmm. We write a business plan, we do all the research and everything. And um, all through while he is doing this, because we want his grandfather to invest, mm -hmm. Um, we are also in, he is also telling his grandfather what we are doing and the grandfather is listening saying that's very interesting, carry on and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And eventually we deliver a business plan, a full business plan, mm. um, complete with research, with projections, everything. Mm. Grandfather studies it, grandfather's analyst studies it, um, everybody studies it and they're happy with it. So mm. now it is to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. So I the grandfather owns a building in town mm. that has his name um, so we go in uh, sit in the boardroom and then the grandfather being african grandfathers mm -hmm. says so young man where mm. are you from now yourself mm -hmm. yes mm. so i say and then you know he goes deeper so where exactly mm. and who are your people let's get to the roots and he's going and he's going and mm. he's going and he's let's going let's map this origin and he mapped me up mm. until my clan mm. he mapped me up until our family he mm. mapped me up until my grandfather mm. then he said i'm sorry son we can't work together oh no i'm like what do you mean? We have not even discussed the business plan. Says the business plan is fine. The reason I was meeting you was, uh, uh, you know, a formality, but unfortunately we can't work together. Why not? Go ask your grandfather. Okay. So what I do is that I get into the car and I hightail it. I drove so rough hmm. straight to my grandfather's house and burst into his house and said, why won't this guy work with me? Papa, tell me, Grandpa. Not Papa, tell me, it's no politeness. Uh. Bang! Hi, why won't this guy work with me? I need answers now. And he may looks at me, Grandfather was uh, very wise and calm man. He says, oh, you have come. I'm like, yes, I want to know why this guy won't work with me. He says, ah, okay. Go and tell your grandmothers to bring us tea. Eh? Oh, there's, there's, there's a story. Go and uh, get tea. You come back with it, we talk. Mm -hmm. So I go to my grandmother. Mm. And I re in retrospect, I realize what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I'm agitated. Yeah. While I'm waiting for tea. Oh, you're coming down. I must come down. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. I'm there standing uh, with, my, with my grandmother tapping, tapping my feet and mm. fidgeting mm. and mm. waiting for this tea. Mm. 
you know but uh, and my grandmother is going to talk me about other things mm. and i'm not going to go and uh, you know she does not have an answer for why this guy won't talk with me so i have to discuss whatever she wants to discuss so in that time i'm coming down then i come back with the tea and we sit down and so he asked me so what happened and i explained to him and then he says oh it's not your fault mhm it's not your mother's fault all right this is not my fault your grandfather it's okay. not my father's fault hey it is not my grandfather's fault where does it go it is his father's fault count 7 away from me what seven generations away what from me. and a number of generations away from that mze hmm okay in the in many, away now from the person who said we can't do business yes mm. in the old days mm-hmm. among most communities in Kenya the Gikoyos the Giriamas mm. the i think even some of the western uh, tribes mm. if we want to make a contract of any kind mm. we must kill a goat yes okay so a goat had been killed mm-hmm. way back then many 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 generations and generations ago yes mm. seven generations from me mm-hmm. ago mm. a goat had been killed mm-hmm. by these two others mm. who swore upon the blood of that goat mm. that they will never work together and that their future generations will never work together essentially it is you and me maxi saying that me and my children and grandchildren and future God and you and me. yours mm. they shall never marry they shall never work together they mm. shall never discuss anything that's what had happened many years ago that's what happened seven years ago seven generations seven ago. generations ago so this is like in the 20 20 year around 20 or 4 so this means like it's almost like 100 years ago 100 years before whoa and the information has just been passed late down late 20 like 20th century now ago yes whoa. and the information has just been passed down um in, years in, in years out yeah that you know those guys we don't do their things we don't do anything with them because of that body that was killed a long time ago huh so now mm. in kenya also at that time you would walk into a into a you walk into a government office for example mm-hmm. and you're called joroge and at that point we decide how we're going to serve you depending on who whether i am a kamau yeah if i am a kamau i decide i will serve you because you're one of us if you are a okumu i decide oh currently the political narrative is that we are together so i'll serve you well but if uh, because uh, you are a uh and yeah now we can't work with you because you know you are with us guys and now suddenly you are carrying the burdens of the tribe of the tribe your name betrays you of the political affiliation affiliations of yeah. the tribe yeah and suddenly things that you are not involved with yeah impact how investment happens in your life yeah how services how are, doors are open how doors are opened and all these things so your name opens that way your name betrays you or it closes the door or it closes the door so now i, I looked at that and then i looked at now it not only has is it that bad in the country at that time but now it is also so bad that Culturally truthfully even it has come all the way to home to inside the culture that this guy cannot work with me because <laughs> now i've lost a business because i've lost blood sweat and tears fundamentally livelihood yes because mm. uh, some a decision that was made 100 years ago when that that I was not part of and that this grandson was not part of wow i left my grandfather's house went straight to my lawyers and said let's change my name with that decision with that decision so that insight caused you to stop beca- stop so me i changed my name so that i do not have any tribe yeah because alkads who yes. is Alkags is a yes I don't have a tribe. Yeah. Okay. And my children don't have a tribe now. So when when you say you went to the lawyers what did that include? You just go and do a deed poll. Changing your name is a deed poll. Mm. It involves uh, you going and being checked out by intelligence and being checked out by a whole bunch of people but um it is done. So the name Alkags is 
Alcaxis is the name on my ID. Yeah. Yes. So, and your kids, therefore, their my, surname. My son's my son's surname is Kags. Oh man. Yeah. That has impacted. How has that impacted on your, on what you aimed for at the time? You know what's interesting Perception. is that now I work with uh, all kinds of people, eh? mm-hmm. and um, people talk to me as just a Kenyan. Mm. Because the people who are Luos and Kisis think I'm from there. Mm. Um, there's people who think I'm Maasai. Titers, Maasai, whoever. Yeah, people just decide. So uh, I'll give you an example. On the post election, after the post election violence period, mm-hmm. um, Kikuis were really hated by people. Right. And I was washing my car at the Shell Petrol Station. So we are standing around. So the guy comes and parks his car. And we got talking. We got talking, and I, apparently, I don't look like any tribe. Also, I look like uh, I'm from Pokot. I could be from Luoland. I could be from Elgon. I could be from many places. So he basically goes and sits with me and tells me exactly why he hates Kikuyus, and it was visceral. And he's comfortable talking to me because I'm just another Kenyan as far as his, he didn't ask my name, nothing. And eventually, when we exchanged cards and he saw my name, he was like, yeah. Chunga wa Kikuyu san. So if I identified as Kikuyu. Yeah. Your name would have betrayed you. Yes. Mm. You see what I mean? Very interesting. There are contracts um, that I have gotten because people are saying, that's a very unique name. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. And that lack of tribal association or affiliation um, in the modern day, th- there are particular stereotypes that are given, just stereotypes, not even any other thing, just yes. stereotypes that yes. are given to tribes yes. and, and, and associations yes. that uh, you now don't have to suffer. So now I can side yeah. swipe those. You, and then especially the other... given the fact that you'd also come from a time yes. when you had experienced a bit of your life in crime. And yes. that can also have a particular flavor and exactly. affiliation. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then the other thing is um, the 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 fact that I, you know, I'm from Malindi. Yeah. It is very cosmopolitan. Yeah. I speak Swahili very well. I and speak Kiriyama very well. Yeah. I speak uh, well. Kiriyama, I don't speak that well, but yeah. I speak some Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, and I have an I have always had this ambition of being able to speak at least seven languages. Yeah. That are Kenyan. Yeah. So that then, even if it's not at your lot, so, yeah. but at least I can, like I speak a little bit of cow. Mm. Um, I can ask for water. You can get by. I can, if I'm there, I yeah. can, I'll get by. I will yeah. not, uh, I can get by without anybody realizing I'm not from there. What they'll think is that I'm from there, but I went to live abroad or yeah. something. Yeah. You know, sort of. You're thing. a summer bunny. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, home. exactly. <laughs> People will assume whatever they'll assume. Yeah. But they'll work with me. That is right. And that's, and that's what I want. Yeah. That's good. Um, so that's the story of how I changed my name. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's awesome. It has many lessons. And, and let's now come back to the end of uh, KCDF.